So, I forgot to hit record when I first started this process. Um, somebody asked me to show my routine on starting a new project. So, what I did here is I just took two 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock and taped them together down the center. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to put double-sided tape on these pieces of chipboard and then I'll be right back. So now that those have the double-sided tape on them, I guess I should probably explain, I am starting the base part of a journal. So this is how I do my journal covers. So the first piece I always put down is the chipboard for the spine. Now I'm going to put the other two pieces like an eighth of an inch away or two, yeah, about an eighth of an inch away from the other piece and then I'll be back. So now that those are down, the reason I left that gap was so when I bend it up, it does not get stuck. It doesn't break the paper. There's enough space there for it to fold closed without damaging it. And then I just go around with a scissors and I trim off all of the excess minus, I leave about an inch on each side all the way around. So I'll be back. And now that I've cut the sides down, I trim these corners off just like that. It makes it easier for them to fold without all the excess bulk. So I'm gonna finish the rest of the corners and I'll be back. The next process is to gently bend and fold up these edges so it doesn't break the cardstock. So I'm gonna finish doing that and I'll be right back. So I forgot to hit record when I was adding the double-sided tape on the pieces of paper that need to be folded up. So, sorry about that. 